So we sat as a committee and we found out that uh, we have to invite more people. Other than uh, the Electoral Commission and uh, the Minister of Just Justice and Constitutional Affairs, we shall also invite um, the political stakeholders as represented in Parliament. The NRM, the, the FDC, uh, DP, UPC, JEMA, they will have to give their views. And then we shall also invite other uh, stakeholders, like religious leaders, we need to get their opinion and their views. Uh, they are already beginning to give out uh, statements in the media. We need to document them, and so that can uh, be part of our report. And also we had the, the cultural institution, like of Buganda, the kingdom has given uh, an offer to the lawyers in Buganda to come and give us. Yes, all what we need is to find a solution to what is being baptized now as a scientific election, whether it is a possibility that can be handled within the law, or we either have elections as envisaged in the law, or probably we don't have it. So, but these are matters, elections are public affairs matters. Elections are matters of law. So we shall try to get everyone's view and then um, and I hope that when we invite them, they will come. Probably some former presidential candidates, the second, the first runner, uh, on uh, uh, Dr. Kiza Besige, retired. Uh, we, we, can, we can also invite him to come because he's also a participant and he has part participated in He has an opinion as a former presidential candidate. And uh, which opinion may not be the same as that of the political party where he belongs. The, maybe the other bit, as a legal committee, we are typically concerned about the legalities of, of this election, the laws, so that we avoid, there is fear that when we get these elections done the way it is, your people win, but the win will be challenged. And when they go to court, they will not be going with the SOPs, the standard operating procedures.